Welcome back, Konius here. Today I'm flying from Grand Island, Nebraska to McCook, Nebraska. I'm flying a Beechcraft King Air 350i. I'll be flying at 4,500 feet. Let's reset the view, go inside and get started. Take off the parking brake. And let's start heading down the runway. I'm going to try with the pedals this time instead of rotating the stick. I think I've got my pedals working pretty well after soldering the wires instead of relying on a connector. It's having a lot of trouble with my Thrustmaster pedals. They have these long wires measuring analog resistances in the potentiometers with a lot of room for noise to get in. Okay, let's go ahead and lift off. First flaps up. Maybe I let put those up a little bit early, perhaps. Okay, landing gear up. Let's go ahead and start turning in the direction. Page four five seven continue for west departure. Grand Island Tower KH four five seven continue for west departure. Bit of a sharp turn, but that's okay. Need to keep turning a bit. I'm going to put the flaps up the rest of the way. Have to push down on the stick when you do that. Okay, I'm going to keep turning a bit, try to get the heading perfectly on course, the magenta lines on the compass. head in this direction for a bit and close that line and then turn back into the heading. I'm almost at our altitude, so I'm going to begin leveling off. Grand Island Tower KH457 frequency change. Minneapolis Center KH457 is type Beechcraft King Air 4 miles southwest of Grand Island 4,300 feet. Request flight following. Okay, so we've essentially reached our altitude. We'll go ahead and start turning back into our head. Squawk 7364 KH 457. KH 457 radar contact 5 miles southwest of Grand Island 4300 feet. Altimeter 29 decimal A2. Notice you said the barometer setting was a little different. Okay, so now we're back on course. We're a little bit above our altitude. I'm going to go ahead and turn on navigation and altitude for autopilot. It will make a fine correction of the course. Oops, turn off the yaw damper. Or I mean on. Delta one zero three two contact Minneapolis Center on one two eight decimal zero. One two eight decimal zero for Delta one zero three two. Sixty six degrees outside. Looks like a beautiful day for flying. I'm heading in the general direction of Denver. I don't know what it's going to be like reaching the Rockies. Don't know if I'll see them on this flight or not. I'm guessing no. But I'm heading in that direction. Let's go ahead and go outside. It doesn't want to reset the view perfectly centered in the back. I think that's just the airplane dealing with the heading and the wind, so I'm not worried about that. We can go ahead and look around though.
kind of interesting, interesting circles on the ground down here. Not sure what those are. Probably related to irrigation. I guess this is pretty much what you would think Nebraska would look like. Just a lot of wheat fields and whatnot. More of those circles. Always kind of fun playing with the different views, different angles. I had to restart earlier. I noticed sometimes after I've installed an update, all my graphics settings get set to ultra low. And so I had switched to the external view and looked at the front, and the propeller spin was, I don't know, 10 sided or something. It did not look circular at all, and that clued me in that the graphics were ultra low. So I went in and set them all back up to high, basically. A little difficult to do ultra at 4K. Can be done, but the frame rate starts to really drop. like this centered view. Alright, well that was kind of fun. Let's see, check the barometer. Went down slightly. Reset the view. Seeing a lot of civilization down here. Kind of like to go exploring with the drone. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to let the plane head off on its way, set the speed up, and let's see what we've got. I'm not sure where this area is. Really pretty. Looks like some kind of a 
manufacturing plant or distribution center or something. Yeah, this has got to be a major city. You see a lot of stuff going on. A lot of water. Let's check on the plane. Kind of surprised there's so much water on the ground. I don't know if that's realistic or not. Sparkling water looks really pretty. Wow. It looked a little bit of a mess, but kind of see that it's a school or something. That's a lot of wind. Alright, I'm going to reset to the plane. Yeah, it can be a little dizzifying at times. Look around a little bit. A lot of roundness in all the agricultural areas. I guess again, having to do with irrigation.
I'm going to reset this. Ooh. Okay. And go back to the external view. That should be reset as well. So not much to talk about. Some pretty views with the moon and the sun in the background. All the circular crop areas. Now would be a good time to drink some coffee from the thermos and have another donut or something. Probably begin descending soon. Let's uh, check that barometer again. Changed a little. Alright, I think I'll drop this down to 4,000. Tends to descend pretty quickly. I should probably set a vertical descent speed. That's one of the things I can set on my Logitech. Maybe I can change that. There we go. Now that might be more comfortable. Going a little bit fast. I'm going to pull back on the throttle to halfway. drop us down another 500 feet. At least I think so. I did set it. Let's see, did it take? A little hard to see here. Yeah, it still says 4,000, so let's see if I can, maybe if I s do that, it's got it at 3,700, I want it to be 3,500. Well, 3,600, that's fine. The Logitech equipment doesn't operate the same as the Garmin, so they don't interoperate completely perfectly every time. Now it says 3500. Okay. Maybe it's just an update issue. That's as perfectly reset as the external view gets right now. Okay, we're going to be landing shortly. So, we're at 3,500 feet. We'll stay at that level. Go back inside. I'm going to take over for autopilot. And I'm going to dethrottle some more. I want to get going a little slower.
don't want to go up in altitude. Autopilot can do a better job of the stable flight than I can. Losing a little bit of altitude, so I'm trying to nose up just a tad. Wouldn't mind having a little bit of altitude in reserve. Flaps down and reduce our speed quite a bit. Push down hard on the stick to keep from nosing up too much. Get that speed down. And we've gotten a little bit too high, so let's nose down a bit. a little higher than I'd like to be. Trying to get our course corrected here a little bit. Not sure exactly where the landing pattern is going to appear. We might have to make a sharp turn into it at some point. Still gaining a little bit too much altitude for my taste. So we're better on course. Altitude's a tad high, but I can fix that. If I pay attention to the flight director, which I, I guess I don't normally notice it, he wants me to continue turning a little bit to the right, but that's okay. I'm going to do what I think is best. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to de-throttle. We're going a tad fast. Too fast to put the flaps out anymore. Okay, now I'm going to put the flaps down all the way. Kilo Mike Charlie and Kilo traffic K H four five seven one one miles thrust. northeast, three thousand three hundred feet inbound to land runway three zero. Landing here. Landing here. Okay, landing here. Sounds like a good idea. Thrust. Kind of wonder if I should have waited before putting the flaps down all the way until I got closer, but I was going awfully fast. So at least now we're going at an appropriate speed to land. Engines are being pushed just a tad hard. Trying to maintain altitude and keep the speed at 115 or above. I wouldn't mind getting a little bit more altitude, but it's going to be tough. I can't push the engines anymore. Alright, well it looks okay so as we're approaching the landing pattern entrance. It's kind of crazy that it's all the way over there, but that's fine. I'd really like to nose up a bit, just to lose too much speed. Maybe I can push the engine up just a tad. I'm going to try nosing up a bit, see if I can get a little bit of altitude. But we're really approaching the stall zone, so that's maybe not such a good idea. I'm kind of surprised I can't pick up any more speed than this. Must be wind conditions. Alright, well 
we did get some altitude, that's good. Try to get just a little bit more. No, can't really do that. Okay, I'm going to start making my turn into the pattern. Kilo Mike Charlie, Kilo traffic KH4572 miles southwest, 3,400 feet inbound to land runway 30. feel like I'm a little bit low, but I think it'll get better when we turn and start descending more. Alright, that turn went okay. It really does look pretty outside right now. Charlie Kilo traffic KH four five seven is on base runway three zero. All right, Kilo game Mike Charlie stuttering kind of badly. But there we go. All right, so there's our second turn. That went okay. I guess we get closer to the ground, we'll begin picking up speed, and we'll start descending quicker. So, see us picking up speed. I'm going to pull throttle back to halfway. Let's see where that gets us. Okay, I, th I think it may be okay. It's a little on the low side, but that's where we were earlier when we were fine. So we'll see about that. Very bumpy air. Another turn. Mike Charlie, Kilo traffic KH457 is on final runway 30. Alright, drop the th throttle down to about 30% maybe. Let's drop it down to maybe 25%. Let's get centered on the runway again. I'm gonna drop it down some more. We're dropping fast, so I'm gonna just put the throttle low and let's we'll see where we get with that. Okay, I think I need a bit more. I'm going to drop it all the way because this feels like we might be able to pull in here and hover. Um, it's a little too bad that I'm not centered on the runway, but we'll make this work somehow. Okay, throttle's all the way down. Nose down a bit. And, oh, that was rough landing on the rear wheels. And we're off into the grass. Uh, my rudder pedals aren't doing much for me. Alright, so let's get back on the runway. And we'll get off here on the right side. Flaps up.
Okay, I think this might be another runway, but let's go ahead and park, contact ground. Kilo Mike Charlie, Kilo traffic KH457 is clear of the runway. Alright, looks like I'm on my own to park, so let's go up here and see what we see. Okay, I'm not sure where I should go, but I think I should continue forward and turn right where I see other airplanes. There's no designated place for me to land, but I'll just pick a spot somewhere. And my airplane's kind of big compared to these other ones. Alright, parking brake on. Shut the engines down. Uh, it was kind of a rough landing. I had trouble maintaining nice smooth control over the direction at the end, but I feel like we made it in one piece. Alright, let's shut off the plane. And that's it. Don't, not getting the usual end screen. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.